This is WENY News. Hey, thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DeMatte. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. The Tompkins County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help to find a missing 81-year-old man with dementia. David Sprague has been missing from the Cayuga Heights area since 2.30 yesterday afternoon. He was last seen driving a four-door 2010 Brown Buick LaCrosse with a specialty sailboat license plate that reads 182 ACL. He's described as 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighing 185 pounds. He has white hair and is balding. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact the Tompkins County Sheriff's Department. Eating certain cans of tuna fish could be life-threatening. That's leading to a massive recall that you need to know about this morning. Bumblebee and Tri-Union Seafoods are recalling thousands of their chunk light tuna cans. Bumblebee says some 32,000 cases may have been contaminated during a factory sterilization process. And Tri-Union Seafoods recalled about 3,000 cases of its Chicken of the Sea brand that may be undercooked. Local farmers and business owners will get together today to address where they stand on the $15 an hour minimum wage proposal. They plan to make a personal appeal to Assemblyman Phil Palmasano, Senator Tom O'Mara, and Assemblyman Chris Friend. WENY News will be at their press conference this morning. You can tune into WENY News at 5.30 and 6 o'clock to find out how local farmers think a wage hike would affect their lives and businesses. New York doctors will soon be going paperless and drugs will be prescribed with the click of a mouse. Governor Cuomo is putting an end to handwritten prescriptions starting on March 27th. Instead, he's requiring all prescriptions be transmitted electronically from the prescriber directly to the pharmacy. Cuomo says electronic prescriptions will reduce the number of fraudulent or stolen prescriptions. And in turn, they'll help fight prescription drug abuse throughout New York State. And now here's meteorologist Craig Flint with today's forecast and a bit of a lesson, right Craig? Right, Ross, we're going to start off with uh, a, a, a little bit of a science lesson for you on a Friday morning. Why not? Uh, you may, if you were just east of Ithaca, you may have looked in the sky Thursday evening and noticed this. Uh, these are what we call mammatus clouds. So basically what you need to take away from this, if you care, I'm just a big weather geek and I like explaining stuff. Uh, there's lots of turbulence, so the air's a lot of turnover going on in the atmosphere uh, last evening. And mammatus clouds are rare, uh, usually associated with some volatile weather, but not always the case. So you can just make out how they're kind of, they got this like pouch shape to them. What that is, is sinking air, all right? So the cooler air, well I should say the sinking air, sinks because it's cooler than the air around it and also the ice crystals and the water content in these clouds got the gravity kind of pulling it towards the ground so that's why we get this pouch shaped feature uh, to what we term as mammatus clouds so a pretty neat shot so i guess to simplify it for you it's basically normally you need rising motion to get cloud cover it's basically an upside down cloud because these forms these clouds are forming from the top down so pretty neat shot from timothy and Caroline, thanks for sending it my way. There you have it, Mammatus Clouds. All right, your forecast then for today. So 46 degrees is what it was at midnight. If we could get above 46 today, I don't think we will though. 46 will technically be the high because well, midnight starts a new day, right? And there will be scattered rain, some higher elevation wet snow showers and a notable breeze today from the Northwest, 15 to 25. The wind eases tonight and some clearing with a low near 20. So over the northern tier, Galton, Cowdersport, Wellsboro, Mansfield, Sayre, Tawanda. We'll try to give you some breaks of sun in between scattered showers and some higher elevation wet snow showers today. Breezy southern tier, Elmira, Corning, Bath, hanging out 40 to 45 today. Intervals of sun, scattered rain, a little bit of snow or some grapple over the higher elevations of the Finger Lakes and highs in the kind of hanging out in the low and mid 40s today. So there's a front coming through. And as we look to the north and uh, look to the north of us, rather, uh, a good deal of clear sky over southeastern Canada. This is what arrives for Saturday. So the sun should be out bright, but because the air mass is coming from Canada, it's obviously going to be colder, right? So here it is on your seven day forecast. 
uh, only 35 despite the sun on Saturday. We're going to increase the clouds on Sunday as a coastal system will spread some snow into places like New England and the Cape and Martha's Vineyard. For us locally, flurries, light snow showers developing in the afternoon. Spring, by the way, begins in the wee hours Sunday morning, a high of 38. Separate system with a little bit of light snow on Monday, 38. Tuesday, mostly sunny, lower 40s, and then temperatures surge into the 50s and even 60s by Wednesday, Thursday. Of course, we're going to be talking about rain showers by that point in time, so it looks a little wet, a bit wet here by midweek. Ross? Thank you, Craig. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WEMY News at noon, 536 and 11 o'clock. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great Friday and enjoy your weekend, everyone.